Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a weekly reading so it's going to range from the 26th of July and it's going all the way to um, the 2nd of August uh, 2020. Uh, that being said, this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Although this one here is dedicated, it's narrowed down to the sign of Leo. That being said, if ever you do have any questions and you would like to have um, some answers on a private level for your questions, your life, your situation, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the information on the different types of readings that I can offer you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, now is the time. The little subscribe button is right there, the little red subscribe button, and there you go. Now you'll be able to receive my daily videos. So that being said, let's begin this reading. So I like to switch things up. I like to try new things. Um, I've done mostly tarot. Um, last week I did my weeklies with Oracle, and this week we're going to continue, but we're going to change something up again, switch it up. We're going to do it with a kipper. So this is a fortune telling deck, not quite the same thing. So um, this being said, I'm always using the same type of spread. So let's see what is in store for you this week. So I'm going to start by flipping over the, car the cards. I have a mature man. I have an official person. I have a family room. I have marriage. I have mature woman. I have community. And I have the card of courtship. Okay, so just at first glance like that, I do have to say there's a lot going on here and and um, I do feel like um, well, we're going to go through it here, but uh, there's all different kind of people going on here. I do have to say that there is at first glance, there is, there's cheating, but um, there's cheating on both sides is what I, I can actually see. Um, anyways, we're going to begin with the first card and I'm going to go into detail about what it is that I'm seeing and what messages I'm getting here. So we're going to be, begin here with our mature man. Okay. Now our mature man here is, you know, a wiser, older gentleman. Now this person here um, is generally, I have to say, uh, well, on the picture here, he's wider and he's older. That being said, this person is the other person in this relationship. And it doesn't only end there. This person is also the other person in a relationship. I don't know if you knew, <laughs> but both of you are cheating on each other. So that being said, there's another man and there's another woman. I do have to say, okay, this is the other woman. This is the other man into the relationship. So you know what? I'm just going to put them right here together, okay? These two are the third party partners into this uh, couple. Um, I do have this card here, which is the official person. And this card is actually um, the uh, querent here. This is actually, maybe not quite the querent. I'm sorry, it's not the querent. Uh, this is the, um, depending if the querent is male or female, this is the male person into this party, okay, into this relationship. Uh, not the cheating, not the add-on ones, the original one, okay, and the original couple here. So that being said, uh, this card here is really about, it's a challenging card, it really, really is. Um, this is really about a person who is a, sometimes kind of forceful, humorless, uh, can be called, um, is often kind of angry, can uh, likes to be in control. You know, this person controls a lot of things. They carry a grudge for the longest of times. And um, you know what? As energy, it's happening whatever you like it or not. You just cannot stop the situation, what is going on right now. Okay? So, uh, um, you really have no control on what is going on with uh, with the cheating and, and you know, control who's going to do what into this relationship. You just have to accept as it is that you're being cheated on and that you're cheating on your um, your partner also. That being said, I do have the picture here of this beautiful family room. And uh, this family room here is, you know, really about what should be, okay? It's a place where um, where usually you're quite comfortable, but it's also a place where there's secrets. Where do we keep secrets? We keep them in our homes. 
So this is a place where you keep secrets, where you keep personal manners that are not shared. Okay, this room here stands for all private and enclosed space spaces. Okay, it could be living rooms, it could be hotel rooms, it could be apartments. It really speaks to the privacy and intimacy okay of conversations that are being held into this relationship this is about things that are said things that are done behind closed doors okay so um there's a lot of things being said and being done behind closed doors as much things being said into the relationship at home and being done in hotel rooms with the partners that being said, I do see that this relationship here is not going to withstand this. There is too much going on. Uh, there are too many cheating. There's cheating on both ends. Uh, there are communication problems. There are um, a lot of issues to be worked through if ever you do want this to work out. Um, I do have over here the community. So the community card is, you know, all about people that are there, friends, family, people who are there to support you, um, who will help you. Uh, some are there for you they could be a shoulder to lean on they could be somebody who understands who supports you it's really somebody that you have a connection with so you know it's mom it's dad it's a brother it's a sister it's a good friend um, so this is really about people that are going to be with you throughout this heartache and throughout this hardship um, and then you know we have the very last card here which is it's called uh, courtship uh, but really in, in this case here it's really the ending okay so this is Cupid's bow it has unstrung and it just has no arrows whatsoever so um this is all about a committed relationship where the love is gone and it's just unexistent uh, possibly even one of convenience maybe maybe it was of convenience for both partners um so this is really um the end the end of an emotional situation the end of an emotional attachment here um and this pretty much does conclude this reading so uh, you're going to have you know you're going to find out quite a few things here i think both of you are going to be shocked to know that you know both of you were actually cheating on each other um but that being said there are so many secrets so many, so many things being said behind closed doors in different areas um you know go see your family get some uh, counsel get some help see what's best for you get a nice you know shoulder to lean on and um, I really really wish you um, you know all the best I do wish you much courage this week um, if you do have any questions on your private situation, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And in the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you'll be receiving the, my video um, updates, so my daily videos that I put out every day. So that being said, I wish you a great day, many blessings. Thank you so very much for being there.